hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So, what's eating you? Today's video is about, as you read in the title, the pros and cons of being a YouTube content creator. And how does this relate to psychology? Well, in my world, everything leads back to psychology. So I'll tie it all in um, at the end of the video. But I want to talk about the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly about being a content creator. So we'll start positive. A positive, one positive about being a YouTube content creator is the flexibility of YouTube. You can literally go on YouTube, create a channel, and basically become whoever you want and show your talent, um, give your views on whatever you want to give your views on, and build a following based on things that you like. And that's awesome um, that people have that ability to do that, that they don't have to be a celebrity or go on TV or go to school um, and study the arts. They can literally become a sensation on this platform. So that is a pro. A con to that or something bad to that good is that you receive a lot of judgment. And it's not easy to, for a lot of people, it's not easy to deal with criticism. So you have to prepare yourself to deal with criticism. If you look at lives, um, different lives of celebrities, that's probably one thing that they um, may complain about is the lack of privacy and the judgment that they get from putting their life out in the, in the world, out in the media. So that's the pro and that's the con. Like I said, flexibility. As a content creator, you get to, you know, do your videos, make your content based on your schedule and what you want. You don't really have a boss um, for most low-key content creators. Probably, I would say, the majority. You don't have a boss. So, you make your videos, put out your content on your own schedule. That's a pro. The con to that is that some people need guidance. And so you may be a content creator who promised your followers that you were going to upload every Tuesday, but you're finding that that's not happening. And as your own boss, you're like, well, I'll just do it on Wednesday. I'll do it on Thursday. And that can be a con because people have your followers anticipate your videos on a certain day. So that can go either way, um, a pro or a con. Um, it's fun. It can be very fun um, to be able to put things out in the world that you want to express and have people actually listen to you and enjoy your content. The, the con to that is is that it's fun for you but someone else may watch your content and because they don't agree with it or they don't like it they may bully you about it so that's a con of being a YouTube content creator is that creators get bullied I watch a lot of YouTube a lot of various different channels I don't just watch channels about psychology I watch everything and I, oftentimes a content creator will do a video solely on their haters and people that may bully them and talk bad to them, talk down to them um, do on their um, in their con um, comment section. I did a, vo a video on bullying, social media and bullying and what my suggestions are for not only content creators for YouTube but if you are you know on IG or snap or whatever and you're being bullied then my suggestion is that you take your block your comments 
that, um, especially if you're going through something in your life where you really just cannot mentally, physically handle a lot of um, negative energy coming at you through your comments. I would say block the comments. A huge pro for many content creators is the financial gain that you get from being a YouTube content creator. That based on the rules of YouTube, you can make really good money. Um, I think at this time you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. And once you reach that, you can apply, apply for being monetized. And so that is a huge benefit of being a content creator on YouTube. I would say the negative for that is that some of these content creators are really young. And when you're young, you may not know how to really financially, you may not know how to manage large sums of money. I've seen some creators um, post, they get $8,000, $6,000, $5,000, you know, per video. And so they're pumping those videos out and they're making a lot of money. And maybe they don't really know how to manage that money. A, a pro to that is that you get $6,000 for, let's say you get $6,000 for a video. A con to that is that YouTube um, is not taking out taxes. Or the ad companies or ever that money is, is d dispersed, they don't take taxes out. So as a YouTube creator, you have to manage your money and take out your taxes. And for some younger creators, even older creators, they may not be financially responsible to do that. And so I would suggest that you um, have an accountant or somebody to help you manage your money um, and pay your taxes maybe quarterly instead of waiting to the end of the year where you may owe $10,000 in um, taxes. So another, how this ties back to psychology is that with everything comes good and bad. And you just need to keep yourself balanced. Um, take in the good, enjoy it. Um, you know, pat yourself on the back. You did, you're doing a great job with your um, YouTube channel. But know that sometimes you need to maybe step back and take a break if you need to. So always have like some extra videos um, set aside for when those times when you need to take a break. Um, I would suggest maybe having a, a therapist, um, somebody that you can talk to and talk through any issues or difficulties that you may be having. So that's it for this video. That is the pros and the cons of being a YouTube creator. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share this channel with anyone or everyone that you think would enjoy Psychology Eats. Thank you.